Now at five, consideration continues. City Council may have voted on the collective bargaining ordinances, but the debate is far from over. Good evening. Tonight we are taking a closer look at the collective bargaining ordinance passed by City Council last night. It repeals collective bargaining for Fort Wayne's six non-public safety unions, but one councilman used a procedural move to give the discussion more time. Democratic Councilman John Schoaf, who voted against the ordinance in committee, changed his vote in the regular session. That will enable him to make a motion to reconsider the passing vote at the council's next meeting on June 10th. In order to legally be allowed to make that motion, he had to vote yes last night. Here's the council's attorney to explain exactly what will happen on the 10th. They have to vote on the motion to reconsider. If he gets um, a majority of the council to say yes, we will reconsider, then his motion carries. And then they put the ordinance itself, the union ordinance that we're talking about, that comes up for a secondary vote. And then everybody basically just votes all over again. If the motion to reconsider does not pass, then last night's vote will stand. In the two weeks until the next regular session, some councilmen are hoping other members will change their votes. Last night, the public had a chance to talk to council, and several targeted two councilmen in particular. News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson is live in our newsroom. You've been at these meetings all over the last two weeks, so what's the thought process here to have that motion to reconsider? Well, it basically boils down to buying more time. Many people who oppose the ordinance repealing collective bargaining say they at least want more time for public input and discussion. And the campaigning for both sides will keep going strong for at least another two weeks. It gives council members the opportunity to reconsider. After the vote to repeal collective bargaining comes a motion that practically puts it on hold. It's very consistent with my original vote to allow introduction. It's very consistent with what I think is simply the sensible procedure. All right, let's really study this thing. And they can go home and think about it, and a couple of them will be an appeal to and hopefully at least one or two of them will change their minds. City workers addressed the council, many pleading to Councilman Tom Didier and Mitch Harper to rethink their votes. There are now two weeks until the topic could be up for debate again. It was gut-wrenching last night, but they're, they're appealing to me because that's the kind of person that I am. Didier says he sat down with almost every city union. Now in the next two weeks, he'll walk neighborhoods. If, if they feel I've done the right thing. I mean, I'm hearing it from both sides. I'm willing to be uh, open and listen. Doesn't mean that I'm changing my mind, but I am open and listening. Harper says the employees addressing him could be a reflection of how he's tried to be thoughtful through this process. I'm sympathetic to people who may lose their voice um, and people who may be treated badly in the workplace or be injured. And I'm certainly sympathetic to how we can best organize government to meet new needs. Shof says, bottom line, it's not a black and white issue. Specific problems sometimes have specific solutions. So certain specific complaints have been brought forward about union practices. Well, if those are legitimate, we can deal with them without destroying the value of the, of the union presence. Now, again, all of this just applies to the ordinance that repeals collective bargaining for the non-public safety unions. The ordinance that would have taken it away from police and fire unions was tabled in committee. Live in the newsroom, Ellis Ivinson, News Channel 15. When we first told you of these ordinances that they were in the works at the beginning of May, they were formally introduced to council on May 13th. Both sides of the debate gave presentations the following week, and then last night the councilmen voiced their opinions and voted. Coming up in two weeks on June 10th, there will be that motion to reconsider consider. If it passes council, the mayor is expected to veto it and the council would hold a special meeting for an override vote on June 24th. You may also remember one of the unions had filed a lawsuit against the city. Well, that has now been dismissed. Representatives from IBEW Local 305 say the lawsuit did what it was intended to do by getting union and city leaders to the negotiating table. The process is designed worked perfectly. It didn't cost the taxpayers a dime. It got our, our issue taken care of. Opponents of collective bargaining say the suit proved their point that the process is time-consuming and expensive. This is a complicated subject with a lot of angles. You can find more in-depth, comprehensive coverage of the collective bargaining debate on Wayne.com. Just click on the image on the right side of the homepage.